Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Chronicles Football. 12 box, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think number four is sold out and that's going to happen a little bit later tonight. We'll get a more accurate schedule for you in a, in a little bit. All right, so thanks for spending a bit of your Friday night with us. Pick your team three, Matt, Last Bot Mojo with the Bears and there's everybody else right here. Thank you everyone for getting in, really appreciate it. We've got river monsters on TV tonight. There's a lot of monstrous creatures out there. There's the fresh case right here. Brand new release. Man, we haven't been able to say brand new release in a long time. Not since Jaspi's Big Hit Express. And before that, I don't know. I don't know when the last time we had a big Tops or Panini release. But I'm glad. This also represents the last product, the last 2019 football product. So I think from here on out, it should all be 2020 stuff. Brand new draft class. So which should be exciting. Brand new draft class to learn and talk about and chat about, hope about, dream about. All right, there's all six and six right here. All card ship, ladies and gentlemen. In the interest of time, I think I'm going to not sleeve like the numbered cards, but I'll set them aside so they can be. Well, there's a lot of great stuff in here, so all cards will ship. Good luck, everybody. All right, we got Jacoby Myers to lead us off. Signature series football design to 199. And that will be for the Patriots. That's going to go to Joel. No fan, 1999 Prince. Kyler Murray, score. These ones are not numbered, but they look pretty cool. I really like these. The luminance cards in chrome with the pro uniforms. Redemption, any guesses on that redemption for bragging rights? Ryan Finley to 75. There's Christian McCaffrey to 99. That will be for Jason Bell and the Panthers. Nice relic. Debo to 199. Rebel is guessing Drew Locke. Right, so we got our first auto, first relic, and that'll be an auto right there. Josh K and Jason both guessing Bosa. Yeah, Nick Bosa, notorious non-signer. All right, it's going to be Russell Wilson. Wow. Crown Royale Silhouette Auto. Woo! That's pretty nice. That goes to Ko Vang and the Seattle Seahawks. That's nice. Redeem that if you can. I'd like to see what that looks like. Those silhouette autos usually look really sharp. All right, next box. Oh, 
Good luck, next one. And this makes me want to go fishing. I've been fishing since I... Oh, what'd you get? A turtle? Oh, watch out, little guy. Jared Stidham. There's Minshew. And Bruce Smith to 99. That'll be for Tony and the Bills. Buffalo! Nikhil Harry to 199. Leonard Fournette to 199. Jacoby Myers autograph, 17 out of 50. What design is this? This goes to uh, Joel and the Patriots. This is, it just says Chronicles. I like it though. You get that Tom Brady as well, the 49 studio Tom Brady. Miles Boykin. Kyler Murray, Crown Royale die cut. I'm going to go to Chris Rowe. And Cooper Cup, silhouette and autograph. Early sample size. This is only my third case. But it seems like there's like one or two silhouette jersey and autos that fall per case. There's John Elway. So nice Cooper Cup going to Michael Gallucci who picked up the Rams. Nice. Monsters, ladies and gentlemen. Animal Planet. Uh oh, he's sliding into the wall. Oh, Jeremy, watch out! All right. There's the Russell Wilson that we just pulled. Tony Gonzalez to 99. And we got Daryl Lamonica. Nice. 79 out of 99 in that signature series design. We have a full case of signature series from 2016 on jazbeescasebreaks.com. You want to check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Devin Bush to 199. Kyler Murray. I think it looks pretty good, Jason. Jason Jaspi is wondering how everyone, what everyone thinks about Chronicles. Pretty solid. A lot of numbered cards. I like these NFL 100 base cards. I think they kind of cleaned up the design a little bit. Looks a little less busy. Delivering hits like this Timeless Treasures, 10 out of 99 jersey and autograph. Great price point. I think this price point is pretty solid too for what we're getting. All right, that Deontay Johnson will go to Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. To 199. To 160. No. To. Great parenting needs great. What's happening here? There you go. 
One out of 166? That, that number threw me off. There's Easton Stig. There's Kyler Murray from Momentum. These are real people, not actors. We've got their eczema under control. With less eczema... Gardner Minshew Relic. So roll up to 99. And help heal your skin from within with Dupixit. Dupixit is the first treatment of its kind that continuously treats moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis even between flare-ups. Dupixent is a biologic and not a cream or steroid. Many people taking Dupixent saw clear or almost clear skin and had significantly less itch. That's the difference you can feel. All right, next box. Don't use if you're allergic to Dupixent. Serious allergic reactions can occur, including anaphylaxis, which is severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes or a parasitic infection. If you take asthma medicines, don't change or stop them without talking to your doctor. Northwoods Law. What show is this? Man, Animal Planet has all sorts of things here. All right, let's see what happened to Jeremy Wade. Return of the Killer Catfish is this episode. Kareem Hunt Browns edition. Autograph, 189 out of 199. That'll be for Glenn and the Browns. Devin Singletary to 199. Joe Theismann to 199. George Kittle. 1799 autograph. Nice. Jason Hosner with the Niners. There you go, Jason. Oh, you lost the catfish, Jeremy. Nice AJ Brown to 25. Luminance cards, one of my favorites out of the set this year. And Adrian Peterson, dual relic to 199, Chris Rowe, Redskins. Joe Namath to 49. How do these catfish get so big? Eating all that trash? Does Logan, no one bothers him? No one eats those catfish? Man, this feels like a thicker card. Ooh, out of 25, Donovan McNabb. A little bit of a thicker card stock for this set. Freddie with the Eagles. Nice, there you go, Freddie. Now I'm staying out of my comfort zone. As I go 
Now we long to 199. Stidham die cut. Renfro. An all card ship, folks. And Andy Isabella. Silhouette jersey and autograph for Chris Rowe and the Cardinals. The secret is the ooze, says Arthur, like Ninja Turtles. Yeah, he was saying that 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 the catfish has some kind of secretion on their skin that is a telltale sign. And maybe if one swims by your line, and on the line you could see a little bit of that on there, you're like you're you're in catfish country at that point. There's Daniel Jones to ten. And a Max Crosby autograph. Die cut auto, 10 out of 25 from our Raiders. Really impressed with his season last year. It goes to Jerry Bennington and the Raiders. It's Brady to 199. I read that. I also read Old Man in the Sea when I was 13. Jeremy Wade. I don't think I understood it though. Not until I was an adult did I realize the, the point of that book. I've never been noodling. I hear it's dangerous. You can get sucked, you can get caught underneath sticking your arm into a catfish nest or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Arthur's like. Pulled a 58 pound catfish out one time and it about pulled him under. I don't want that to happen to me. Who's going to do all these group breaks? Two Daniel Joneses. Both will ship. Jared Cook will ship. All card ship in this, ladies and gentlemen, to 199 Jared Cook Saints. Michael Hardman. And we got Kelvin Harmon, signature series autograph, 95 out of 199. Chris Rowe and the Redskins. Brian Burns to 199. For centuries, the arrival of a strange boat could mean an attack. To 199, Randy Moss. Still have a healthy suspicion of strangers. And a Gardner Minshew autograph. Nice. So I'm not worried that they eat me. Legacy autograph for Drew Panter and the Jags. You'll get all those nice. Gardner Minshew rookie cards in there in here too, all card ship. Twenty-eight out of thirty-five. Nice. Alright, halfway through this full case break. Another six boxes. Should be another twenty minutes or so. And then we'll be moving on to our next break, which will be Optic Choice. Good luck. Randy Moss, 99. Vikings edition. Tony with that one. 
there are still people who know it. Eli Manning, Manning to 199. The old types of uh, of technique. Yes. Yeah. Are you, are you a fisherman yourself? Yeah. Okay. So you can you Forget the fishing. It seems hooking bits into a conversation is going to be my greatest challenge. The tribe is probably Josh Jacobs to 49. I guess how I send my lures to show them how I move. Damien Harris, another silhouette jersey and auto. A lot, a lot more in this one. Pats, Joel. Drew Bledsoe to 49. Dak Prescott, 10 out of 10. Cowboys, that'll go to Laura. And we got Elaine Johnson for Freddie. Signature Series autograph, 71 out of 99. Nice one for the Eagles. Fly, Eagles, fly. Well, I can't go noodling, Arthur, because I cannot risk these. The heat pullers. Hot hands. The magic hands. The money makers. The real deal holy fields. Josh Jacobs, 75. Amari Cooper, 72 out of 99, two color, dual relic. Ooh, those clams look pretty good. That's right, when I leave, Logan, I'm just wearing oven mitts all day. <laughs> people are just like Joe. Can you can you grab that from the shelf for me really quick? <laughs> no, I mean these hands. <laughs> They're my life. They're like Joe. We use our hands at work too. Go grab that thing off the shelf. <laughs> I mean. Are your hands like professional on-camera hands? Saints, James Teal. Mm, I don't think they are, so yeah. You're gonna have to go to open that jar yourself, Stace. All right. There's David Montgomery, die cut autograph to 75. I, I can use my leg for noodling? Oh. I don't need a leg, right? And with intense humidity, the nights offer little relief from the sweltering heat. Tonight, I'm trying once again to engage the village elder, Lisa. This one is from South America. And this one, I spent years exploring the world's rivers. So I have very little experience with marine fish. And no experience at all with the local methods. <laughs> Am I the hand model from Zoolander? I've never, I've never seen that movie. Uh, 
I want to know how these islanders traditionally fish. I'd like to know. I want to. I want to bow hunt too. I want. I want to tradish, tradish fish in a tradish way. That's what the kids call it. And then I want. I want to go bow hunting. All right, there's Joe, but not with one of those fancy bows. I want like an old bend a piece of wood and string some old. I don't know. Leather ligament entwined and stretched across my bow. Fashion arrows out of cedar, and then uh, craft the arrowheads with locally sourced stone. Seventeen out of ninety-nine. James Devlin, Joel Patriots. Patriots. I feel like having a good break. Uh, your McCarthy's more of a fisherman, huh? Yeah, I have far more experience doing casual fishing than I do with bow hunting. I feel like I'm, but I have fiddled around with a bow and arrow, shooting them into bales of hay with targets. I feel like I'm pretty good. I feel like I'm naturally inclined. 72 out of 99, Alan Feneca. Pittsburgh Steelers for Michael Gallucci. A recurve bow, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. I can do that. Javelin fishing. Javelin fish. I feel like I feel like I would just put a javelin right through my foot. I can't I can't be trusted with something like that. Ooh, Arthur, now now we're talking. I want to I want to catch a marlin as well. I think that would sound great. Just go out in the like the Caribbean Ocean that looks like looks like bath water. It's like 70 degrees and crystal clear. You go out on a boat. Hook myself up in a thing. Get the big pole at six right there. Just sit around. Pop a few uh, brewskis. Get a get a nice tan. And try to catch a marlin. And then, and then I would put it, where would I, I, I would put the marlin right here. Imagine right across there. I'd, I'd wear the, that, that, that's where I'd, that's where I'd put the marlin. There's Kyler Murray. I'm sure, I'm sure there are places in, in Florida that do that, right? And they ship it to me. Here's Brandon Cooks to 99. No, to 199. <laughs> Michael Gallucci and the Rams. Uh, deep sea fishing. Is it murder on the arms? I, I don't know. I think it is a little more intense than, than like river or lake fishing. Um, it's been a couple summers since I've done a deep sea fishing trip. You can charter a boat out here in LA and you can do that, but it's nothing like as intensive as like fishing for a sport fish, like a marlin, you know, there are no marlins out here. There's Justice Hill going to Aaron Billingsley and the Ravens, but, uh, but it's pretty fun. Deep sea fishing. It's a nice afternoon or morning if you're really serious about catching fish or evening. 
Or if you just want to goof off, you can go in the afternoon. There's no fan. Dwayne Haskins autograph. Nice. 12 out of 4. I was wondering, where are the big hits? There's Dwayne Haskins right there. We had that Minshew earlier, too. Chris Rowe with the Redskins. This break is a tad long, but it's certainly not boring, ladies and gentlemen, because there's so many different different things to look at. Should be done in about 5-10 minutes or so. Two boxes left. Whoa, 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 easy, Arthur. Still, uh, still family hour. I always like the, I always like the accessories in fishing. That always seems like a fun thing. You know, you get your tackle box and you got your different sections and, you know, you're like, oh, I'll put a little bit of that there. Some weights over here. A lot of organizing. It's like sorting cards. There's another Kyler Murray. All right. Matt, Matt wants you, you want a silhouette Montgomery Shield Auto one of one? Man, that's setting the bar kind of high for me, Matt. But it's got two boxes left. You never know. Darius Leonard, Lenny going to Patrick and the Colts. Darius Slayton to 199. We got Jeff Driscoll, 9 out of 99. Autograph for uh, Michael Lambert and the Lions. Oh. This will be used to herd whole schools of fish into a trap. That's a smart idea. What I'm amazed about is this is not a net. This is just a, you know, this isn't really a physical barrier. Well, it is up to a, up to a point. So I'm, I'm intrigued to see how it works. Like it's, you know, it's just like how dolphins circle around schools of tuna. It's Gardner Minshew to 178. Ooh, silhouette jersey and autograph to 99, Dwayne Haskins. It's a second one for Chris Rowe. Another Kyler Murray here, Damian Harris. Parrotfish is a, yeah. Look at that, oh, well, that's, there's a bull shark, but where's that parrotfish? Show that parrotfish. That was great. Arthur says the best thing is watching your kid hook his first fish. Watching him reel it all in. You get, it, get it all excited, pick it up. Fish comes off the hook and the look on his face, priceless. Yeah, I remember my, my family, we would, uh, I'm pretty much a city kid, but we but but we did, still did a lot of outdoorsy things. I'm not that city. Um, we go camping a lot and fishing, fishing a lot, lake fishing, mostly lake fishing. Some deep sea fishing trips with with the old pop, but I don't know. I I enjoy it. I, I I like I like the ocean. I like the water a lot. So I was like goofing around. Look at all those. Fish. That's a so what a great idea. And they pull all the fish together. Wow. Brilliant. Looks delicious. All right, last box, everybody. Good luck. All right. 
I also want to uh, I also want to go to like Alaska and I wish I could transform myself into a grizzly bear and just open my mouth and wait for a, a salmon to, to fall into my mouth oh that would be that would be delightful Jason Taylor fresh salmon that'd be great 99 Jason Taylor for the Dolphins Anthony with that one and a one of one Andre Johnson nice just a little base card but there you go James Teal all aboard the Big Hit Express Woo -woo. Low bug. Joe, I never got to ask you what do you think about Rise of Skywalker. Remember we talked about Yes, Ray being a clone. We were not that far off. Kinda was, in a way. Uh, it was okay. I think I think it had to make up for a lot of mistakes of of the uh, second in that trilogy. Last Jedi. And I think a lot of editor movie editors and other actors have kinda came out and said, Well, Rian Johnson took it in a direction that we didn't really expect. And so I think they, without really saying it, I think they were trying to re-correct the story that they originally wanted. And so I think it felt a little incomplete or rushed. Four out of ten, Ryan Finley, James Teal. And some of it was fan service -y, but I think they just kind of wanted to get it back on track. It's all right. It's, it's at least watchable. Last Jedi... Last Jedi is not, but I think maybe we're just going to an era where we've done it. We've done all that we could with Star Wars as a movie franchise. You know what I mean? I feel like with so many different characters that they're always trying to introduce, it seems like it doesn't work well for a movie. But maybe it works a lot better in a TV format, which is proven, which is shown out in the animated series for Star Wars that's on Disney Plus, as well as Mandalorian, obviously. So maybe maybe it works better as TV now. You know, I think there's just too much pressure on everybody. Too much pressure on us as fans, too much pressure on the producers, the writers, the directors to to do a single movie. You know, I mean, they could blink, they could snap their fingers and it'll make a billion dollars, but still, you know, it's it's tough. But maybe TV show is easier to explore characters a little more deeply. Which I think is what we saw in the Mandalorian, which I thought was which I thought was great. And they could be a little more subtle about introducing characters instead of like sometimes you're they were forcing these background characters to be in the movie to make it like a Boba Fett from back in the early trilogy, you know. So I don't know. I think maybe TV it works a little bit better. All right, that's the break. Thanks for watching, everybody. Here's a quick little recap. Mandalorian, I love though. I think they did a good job with that. I hope I hope they just cap it. I hope they just do like three or four seasons and then just say we're done and not overdo it and not drag it out. So is this. I think I think they're working really hard on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, nice Minshew, which I'm looking forward to. So hopefully they'll do a good job with that. And I think they've got like an Ahsoka Tano show getting set up. So they've got a number of different TV shows that are ready to go for Disney Plus. You know, they got to make money for Disney Plus to keep the subscribers coming in. So I'm hoping that will happen there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. This break was brought to you by Disney Plus. Go watch the Mandalorian Star Wars Gallery uh, weekly episodes on Disney Plus. And we'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.